What's happening, guys? We're about to go to the flea market, scan these books with Scout IQ, and see if these books are profitable to sell on Amazon. Head into the flea market. I anticipate it's gonna be a good day. So we'll take you guys along with the ride. I'll keep you posted. Continue on to Southeast 132nd Street Road. Listen to Siri. Siri will take you to the money. All right, Siri, don't do us wrong. See you in a bit. Flea market time, baby. God bless America. Let's get it. Just letting you guys know, I use this eYoYo ring scanner. Connects with my phone via Bluetooth. You can scan about a thousand bucks an hour with this little bad boy. I wear my knee pads. So you get down on your knees, getting down and dirty. And these IKEA bags, these are awesome. These can hold like probably 80 pounds. And I uh, use a little wrist strap that I attach my phone to. So every time I get an accept on my phone, meaning a good, good book to buy, then we check it, make sure it's good, and throw it in the bag. What's happening? Just got done looking through uh, a bunch of books at the flea market with a connection that I made previously. And I tell you, relationships are so important. I don't care if you're doing retail arbitrage, books, wholesale, probably obviously private label even. Relationships, relationships. You know, the only time a relationship might not matter is, uh, ooh, it's hot in here. It's uh, online arbitrage, you know, but it's because I made that relationship, you know, she let me scan away, she held books for me. I mean, I have to look at, at everything, but easily $500 profit in what I've probably been out there four hours or something, a little bit more. So $100 an hour, I mean, at least. And you know, it's, we're about to, I'm about to pull my car around, figure out my total. I guess it's probably gonna be like $30, you know, nothing crazy. All right, well, yeah, I got another another person here I wanna check out. He had a bunch of uh, car manuals. Those do really well. So uh, I'm gonna go check those out. All right, guys. All righty. We are done at the flea market. Long day, but a good day. Real good day. Oh, I probably spent Probably about eighty dollars, and uh, I don't know. Probably as much potential profit, probably a thousand dollars. I'll try and tally it up later. Let you guys know. And, uh, I'll be posting on Instagram some uh, some profit numbers on uh, when I list with GoTo Lister. Shout out to Avery. He's got a. Uh, Profit Analytics integrated integrated into his software. And it's the fastest listing software out there. I mean, you guys got to check it out. And, you know, one day it's probably going to be better than Inventory Lab. You know, that's what he's working towards is competing with Inventory Lab. Yeah, check that out. Go to Lister. Yeah. You got the haul for the day. So I think I did even better than I thought. It looks like about 1,800 in potential profit. It shows uh, I did about, scanned about 3,500 books today. Uh, it shows my buy cost was $289, but I only spent 89, I believe. So divide that by 289, you get roughly 30%. And it shows my profit for the day was something like a little over $6,000 in profit. But there's false accepts sometimes where it'll show as an accept, it shows profitable, but there's some factors that 
might not make that true. So what I did is I multiplied, I think it was $6,142 by 0.3 approximately. And it gives me about $1,800 of potential profit. So pretty happy with that. And yeah, it's uh, about three o'clock. We've been at this flea market for since about 8.30. So quite a while now, but hey, I've... <laughs> $1,800 for what, um, for seven hour day or so, pretty good, about $100, no, it's more than $100 an hour, I'm not exactly a math genius, but, all right, I might stop at one more thrift store, at a, at a, a thrift store, and I actually found at this thrift store I'm going to stop at, I found a signed program it was a program from a place called Cafe Zanzibar in New York in the 40s. And it was actually signed by Frank Sinatra and a bunch of other actors from the 40s, which was super cool. Yeah, anyways, we'll uh, hit the road. And if I find anything cool there, let you guys know. All right, guys, we are back at home base. Got this inventory to process. This isn't just from the day. This is from a couple days down in the Keys as well. Got the workstation set up here. Not a fancy scale, but it gets the job done. Just a typical bathroom scale. Got some goo gone. Got a tape gun. Got some not a set stickers. Some sticky notes that I use for labeling my condition notes. Scotty peelers. Gotta love those. Rolo printer for the shipping labels, skew labels, the laptop, barcode scanner, heat guns are really good for that. Combined with the Scotty peeler, that's how you get those pesky stickers off. Yeah, one tip is too, if you're doing books, I go to Barnes and Noble and they're more than willing to give you some free boxes and it works out perfectly for books you could fit just about 50 pounds in each box all right we we're gonna get to it and we are back so we listed these books using go to lister killer software super fast it automatically prices your books higher when it's fast selling and it even notifies you when there's no FBA competition. And if there is no FBA competition, you should be able to price those books higher. So we got a total cost of $280, total potential net profit of $4,574. Super psyched about that. We use the one box method. So basically what that means is we list the books into the box up until it gets to 50 pounds and once it does close out the shipment complete that do another one one box for each one of these so you know we got five boxes here and yeah got the boxes over here we're gonna have we're gonna schedule actually a pickup through pirate ship for three dollars and eighty cents ups will come directly to you and pick up all your boxes. It's not $3.80 a box. It's for as many as you had. I've had them pick up probably 20 boxes from me for the low price $3.80. So, you know, these guys, throw them a little tip, you know, keep them happy. At least help them load up the boxes or something, you know? That's the least we could do. And yeah, so I'll uh, maybe touch in with you guys when UPS comes to pick those up. And we're going to source some more books all the way home to Detroit. All right, UPS is here. It's all home. All right. They got the packages secured. You got to help them out, you know, load them up. They really appreciate that. Give them a water, you know. These guys do a lot for us. Well, appreciate you watching. If you want to follow along the journey, Subscribe, like, comment, do what you gotta do. Till next time, guys. Johnny out.